and Tacoma United is kind of the overall group that puts it together, but we do a total day of MLK Day planning. So we have the service day today, and then we have the, the program tonight, the potluck dinner at Tacoma Middle. So it's a really a, a group effort. Um, we do discussions in the Tacoma Park Recreation Committee. Uh, the Recreation Department's helpful on things. Um, the Department of Public Works is great in providing some of the materials that we need for this and doing the pickup. So it's really a, a community-wide effort and we've been doing, I think this may be the fourth year we've done um, a Martin Luther King service day um, of clean up and pick up and it's just a great time to see the community come out and really help with things. This is a location that's used by a lot of kids from uh, who live on Maple Avenue and who just walk between Piney Branch Elementary and Tacoma Park middle back and forth every day and it's just an opportunity for these kids to come out and clean up something that gets trashed over the course of a year and in some cases the trash has been here for many years the first year we did cleanup, we met at the junction and we basically sent people all the way walking toward the metro, picking up junk along the way, and then all the way down to Opal Daniels Park. Uh, and we had, I think, 150 people turn out the first year. It was really quite a quite a good gathering and it was a very cold day. Um, the last couple years we've done Tacoma Woods over by Tacoma Middle, and this year we decided to do Dorothy's Woods because this is a new acquisition by the city. A typewriter is really, really old. This typewriter is used to like use used to like type right pictures in back of the day. And I even could show my teacher my science history. What knowledge I am. But I don't know if they get it. I could bring it in school because I'd be like, what is this? Wait, 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 I can't do it. Well, the results are pretty impressive. There's a lot, we've picked up a lot of invasive plants and cut them down, but also, as you can see over to the to your right, uh, a lot of uh, trash pickup, um, everything from a number of vacuum cleaners to stoves to weed whackers uh, to uh, a stereo system and a TV, a lot of stuff that were just dumped here over the years. So it's been really a good, good effort of getting cleaned up. But we still have more to do and we'd love to have help. I think it's pretty good because we're helping the community by cleaning up the park and keeping it clean for the kids that come and play here. I think it's good that people are coming out to clean up because people just dump their garbage outside um, in forests and stuff and it really hurts the animals and plants and environment there. So I think it's really good that people are coming out to do it. We're, we're working toward a really good cause here. We're picking up a bunch of trash and we're helping out the community by making the planet a better place. It's very beneficial to the community um, in terms of uniting this community around a common goal. I saw lots of wrappers from chip bags and a big metal bar. I feel really good about helping our community stay healthy. I think it's uh, helpful. I mean, we're helping the park, to clean up the park and the nature. I think it's a good way for all, you know, to meet new people. And it's good to help the community. This project is good. First of all, we're presenting or thinking about Martin Luther King's, the things that he have done. And second of all, we're helping the community. So like more the more community is clean which means people are not going to get sick which pro which means though people can go to their jobs help their families i think that this is nice and that we get to help the environment so that it and then we, and we also get to clean stuff up i think it's good i can't really talk now i it's so much trash so heavy why do people have to litter we stress to these kids that they should, wherever they go, so they should be picking up trash. It's, you know, it's not the only way to do service, but it's the, it's one of the simplest ways, and it sets a good example, and it creates a, an ethic in kids. I think that lasts through through the lifetime. What I'm doing is trying to extract multiflora rose by its roots. Multiflora rose is a non-native invasive species, and it's hard to pull out because of the thorns. And uh, we try to get it by the roots with these root extractors. 
So it's a good time of year to do it because uh, the ground's not frozen and fairly wet. Muslims and the Jews. We need people from all nations, all colors and all creeds. Put it into war. Put it into greed. Gonna take us all in exchange. Take us all and bring the peace. Gonna take us all in the streets. Gonna take us all. of today and tomorrow, I have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in America dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to self-evidence that all men are created equal. I have a dream. Today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I think that he really he did a really good job to help our community. It's very important to celebrate it because um, if we we wouldn't be here, like everything would be so segregated, and like we wouldn't have equal rights, and life wouldn't be the same if he hadn't said anything about segregation. Martin Luther King was obviously a great man, um, as you can observe from his actions. Um, advocating for the rights of his people to be treated equally to the uh, rest of the country. What I think about Martin Luther King, he was a very nice guy. He was very good to be here and not be shot in, like how he was shot in his altel. But it would be good he um, to be alive right now, give more speeches like he was because he wanted to get us together and have like a nice thing, not be complicated how it was in the past. I think he really um, influenced um, a lot of people to be together and like work together and uh, he told I feel like he's a great person because if it wasn't for his I have a dream speech that we, we would still not have equal rights that we, we would still not have equal rights. He was really important to society because if he didn't try, if he wasn't, try, if he didn't try to do, um, to get equal rights, um, the world today would be completely different. We would still be separated and um, I wouldn't know half of my friends because they'd be in different schools and stuff. I have a dream that little children would sit down one day, live in a nation where they would not be judged by the color of their skin, by the, by the content of their character. I have a dream today.